everyone it's Vilma welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a drugstore beauty haul I don't do videos like this all the time and I am quite pumped about this video because I want to share with you guys what I've been picking up there's some exclusive new makeup bits at Boots I've picked up a lot of skincare because it's stuff that I go through so so quickly I'm always buying every six to eight weeks uh, new products for my face that I want to try and uh, yeah I have a lot of stuff from simple so the majority of the stuff that I have here is from Boots and I have a huge huge bag I have a couple of bits from Superdrug and also something from the perfume shop so let's get started with this video with makeup bits because I don't have all that many. I think I have four items here that I wanna show you guys. And I'm gonna start with mascaras. I have three mascaras that I recently purchased. One of them is the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Feline. This is a new release at Boots. I think it's only sold at Boots at the moment. It was released last week. And I'm really excited to try this because I tried one of the Million Lashes. I think they have several and I really liked what it did to my lashes and make them look very long and full. So I'm excited to try this one and see what it is all about because it says feline. So I'm expecting really fluttery lashes and stuff like that. So in a few days, I'll be doing a review on this. So if you guys are interested, please keep an eye on to that video. The next one is the original Miss Manga Mega Volume Mascara that I absolutely love. This is not the first time I buy this mascara. It's the third time, in fact, that I buy it. I am wearing it today. I just love what it does to my lashes, and I think it's a fantastic, fantastic mascara. The third and last mascara that I have here is by Max Factor, and this one is called the Masterpiece Transform Mascara. I have this one now for a couple of weeks but I wanted to include it in this video because I have been wearing it and I'm thinking of doing a review for you guys. Let me know, comment below. I know that uh, Max Factor is only sold here in Europe. So if you live in the States, I think, um, oh, what's it called? the um oh i can't remember the brand that it's the sister company from max factor but i'll put it over here or in the info bar below um i'm sure they have one similar to this in the states now my brow pencil from kiko has completely finished and i wanted to try something new i really like that brow pencil but i wanted to try something different so i got the brow archery from Soap and Glory. I absolutely love their packaging. Their packaging is super adorable and it just sucks you in and you want to buy it. Now I've been using this now for the past two to three days and I must say I'm really enjoying this. So it's a duo, um, well it's one of those brow pencils that has the spoolie on one side and then you have the pencil on the other and you just twist it up and the pencil comes out which I find really nice I really like their packaging and it's not all that expensive um, so I've been using it for the past couple of days and so far I really like it next I have a perfume from DKNY and this one is called woman and it's a limited edition I loved your original perfume from DKNY if you guys have never tried it I would highly recommend you guys try it um, so I was looking for the original one but because I know every summer they bring something new out I bought it and uh, yeah it smells really really nice and to my surprise it lasts the whole day it's only an eau de toilette it's not an eau de parfum but it lasts the whole day and it smells yummy. Love it, fantastic, and it only costs 20 pounds in the perfume shop. I'm not too sure if Boots sells this limited edition one, but I know they sell the original one and they're also on promotion at this present moment. So like it, highly recommend. Let me put this properly so you guys can read it. Highly recommend, um, it smells amazing. Now moving on to skincare. I have a few things here from Simple and I'm really excited to try these because Simple is one of my favorite skincare drugstore brands, which is very affordable. I've tried several of their products and I've never really been 
disappointed with their products so I'm excited to show you guys what I have here so the first one is the kind to skin micellar cleansing water now I've tried so many cleansing waters from the drugstore micellar ones and I'm never tried this one so I'm excited to try it and see what it does I usually use the Garnier ones I used a L'Oreal one and a Botanics by Boots as well which I loved all three so I'm excited to try something new and see what it is about um, I didn't even know that they had one I think all brands at the drugstore now have micellar waters which is I don't know strange but they all have it um, the next product is the vital vitamin night cream now I've been looking for a night cream for a really long time but I get so overwhelmed with all the claims and the brands and the prices so I decided to go for this one um, I heard really good things about it I read reviews it comes in this little cute pot here and by watching it it is a thick formula but I feel like a little goes a long way so I'm excited to try it um, and see if it does anything for my skin. Let me know if you guys have tried um, these simple products and how you got on with them. And the last simple product that I have here is the Kind to Skin Hydrating Light Moisturizer. Now this one I'm really, really curious to see what it's going to do because I have oily skin and enlarged pores. And in the summer my skin creates a lot more oil than normal. So I need something that is light but it moisturizes my skin underneath my makeup so it comes like this in a cute little bottle none of these simple products have perfume which is really good they don't have any scents because they can irritate the skin so these are definitely suitable for sensitive skin the next product is a product that I've been wanting to try for such a long time such a long time I've heard so many bloggers talking about it and it's been so hyped up that I was kind of like reluctant spectacle of buying it I don't know but I gave in and this is the bio oil I bought the 60 mils um, the bottle because I wanted to try it first before I would go and splurge over I think 15 pounds for the big one but it cost me $5.99 because it's on offer at Boots and um, I'm really excited I have one colleague of mine said that she only uses this at night with no night cream or anything she just uses this and she's in her uh, late 50s and her skin looks really nice so I really am curious to see what this does it's good for um, scars stretch marks and even skin tone aging skin which I have I'm in my late 30s and for dehydrated skin which I have as well I don't really have scars or stretch marks but maybe you know like when you have um, dry pimples and they leave scars on your skin if I can call them scars maybe this will help so I'm excited to see what it does and I'll probably be making a review for it if you guys have tried it please comment below and let me know what you think about bio oil next I have a deodorant by Shore, and this is called the maximum protection and Antiperspirant, maximum strength wetness protection from Shure. Now, this one is the most expensive deodorant I have ever bought because it costs, I think, $4.99. Usually, I pay like one pound something. I always buy Shure or Dove, but I'm curious to know how this performs because it's so hot at the moment and sometimes I find myself sweating and I think I need something a little bit more. Um, that performs a little bit better but that doesn't dry my armpits because I have sensitive skin and I need something that still allows my skin to breathe so I'm curious to know how this performs and recently I've been seeing this on a lot of videos from bloggers or youtubers that I follow so they say it's good but these were sent to them I bought it myself and I'm going to try it and let you guys know if it actually works so as I mentioned before I have oily skin enlarged pores and dehydrated skin and I feel like I need to change my skincare routine every so often and I always go to the drugstore the majority of the time I always buy my skincare routine for my face at the drugstore I have two products here that I picked up at Superdrug a couple of weeks ago and these ones are by Witch Naturally Clear and I have the face wash and the face exfoliator now it's a gentle exfoliator this one um, the oil control foaming face wash is fantastic I really really like it it's supposed to eliminate oil and combat shine and it's supposed to work from the first time you use it so bold claim 
but I think it does work. And the other one is the Gentle Exfoliating Face Wash, which has natural micro granules, deep cleanse, pores, leaves skin clear and smooth. And it really does. I use this every day because it's so gentle. At first I thought there's not enough granules in it and or granules, granules, I don't know how to pronounce that word anyway, but you guys know what I'm saying. Um, I thought it didn't have all that many and I thought my skin wasn't clean, but it does feel smooth after I wash my face with these two. They're from um, Superdrug. I'm not too sure if you can find these at Boots. Maybe you can. I'm sure you can. But I bought them on promotion. Um, I think they they cost me both of them together four pounds, but they're more expensive than that. But really, really nice products. I'm liking it so far. I've been struggling a little bit when I'm washing my face. I feel like I need something more than just my hands to exfoliate and to really feel like I'm cleansing my pores properly. So I went to Boots, obviously, because majority of the stuff that I have here is from Boots, and I picked up these sponges from Boots Botanics, The Power of Plants. Now these um, claim that they're deep cleansing sponges to ensure deep, effective facial cleansing. So I'm excited to use them. It comes with two, um, well, it's a double sponge in here. And I'm really excited to try it because I feel like I need something else to help me cleanse my face. So um, let's see, hopefully it will work. Now my favorite brand at the drugstore when it comes to body wash and body foams and stuff like that is Dove. I love this brand. Their products are fantastic. I'm really sorry that I keep doing this on my nose, but I have hay fever. Um, they're fantastic. And this is a new uh, addition. It has pomegranate and lemon uh, verbena scent. I'm not too sure what that is, but it smells amazing. Oh. It just smells fantastic. I wish that they had like uh, body lotions and body butters with the same scent because I would buy the whole line. Um, they're on promotion at the moment. They usually cost over three pounds, which I don't think it's that expensive for the size that you get. This is a 500 mLs, but I paid less than two pounds for it. And I would highly recommend because they're the best, the best uh, shower gels and shower um, uh, foams at the drugstore, in my opinion. I cannot go to Boots without looking at the conditioner section and shampoo section, but the majority of the time I go there just for the conditioners. And the conditioner that I usually buy for myself and for my daughter is the Tresemme Naturals, uh, well, the Vibrant Lead Naturals, because they don't have the um, original formulas anymore, at least here in the UK. But they were completely out of stock, so I was there for like 20 minutes looking for a new conditioner, and I ended up buying Two. Now this one from Herbal Essence is Hello Hydration. I have tried this before and I really, really like it. It does have silicone, I think. I'm not too sure. I never really read the ingredients because conditioner for me is just conditioner. Um, but yeah, it's a very moisturizing conditioner. So I wanted to give it a go one more time, especially for my daughter's hair. She has really coily hair and I need stuff that has a lot of slip. And the other one that I picked up. It's something new to me, but as you can see, I have used it a couple of times. I used it on myself today and on my daughter. This one is by Boots and it's called a Fresh and Crisp Apple Conditioner formulated to help moisturize and smooth hair for a revived fresh feel. And it's a 500 ml bottle. You guys are not going to believe how much this cost me because I'm still it was mind blowing to me. It only cost me one pound. It comes in four, I think four different um, flavors, formulas. They're all for moisturizing your hair and to revive your hair. This one really smells like apples, like you really want to eat it. They have one with coconut and shea butter. They have another one with mint and they also have one with uh, strawberries. But I thought this one, the smell was just so yummy that I had to buy it. And you know what? This has amazing slip and it only cost one pound, one pound. I feel like I'm doing a review on the product, but really one pound, the whole line, the shampoo costs one pound, the conditioner costs one pound. And I think it's absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing. And my last product in this haul is makeup pads or essential baby pads, cotton pads. I always buy this in the baby section. I'm not too sure why, because they are not all that different from the normal ones that they sell on the floor where you have the makeup bits and stuff like that. But I really like the baby ones. They also have them in bigger sizes, 
but I find that the smaller ones just fit my eye a lot better. I can use it on both sides. They're very affordable and I, I think everybody needs cotton pads in their life because when you're trying to remove your eye makeup, you need this, at least in my opinion. And after you remove your makeup, you still need this so you can uh, cleanse your face with a micellar water or to tone your face as well. So this is something that is very, very necessary, at least for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed my beauty haul as I don't do videos like this all the time. Let me know from the things that you've seen here if you're interested in a review on any of them. I'll gladly do a video for you guys. And yeah, that's basically it. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.